welcome back to Black Acre Ranch guys. So today is gonna to be hopefully our first day of sorting animals. Now, if you've been following along, you know we don't have a handling facility yet. So today is gonna be involved um, with building a temporary fence and seeing if we can sort off the babies. So um, this may be interesting, it may fail very quickly, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on today, Black Acre Ranch. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back. So today, like I told you, we're gonna try and sort the babies off. Now, <clears throat> the reason we're doing this now, um, my handling facility is being built right now, the panels. We're gonna be getting fence panels and we're just gonna weld them to posts and we're gonna put whatever configuration we want. That's being built right now. There's a guy who wouldn't mind buying the babies, but he wants to know how many males, how many females, what size are they, because they pay per pound. So he's kind of pushing me a little bit to kind of do this, and so that's one reason um, I'm kind of doing this. I want to separate the babies off the moms. Secondly, the babies have been out long enough. I'd like to separate them, and I want to know their weights anyway. And I wanted to get them off two months ago. Um, but So maybe this is a good motivation to try this. Now, we're not ready for it, really. So we're going to try and concoct some stuff to try and sort them. Um, we're going to stay calm the whole time, see how this works. If it doesn't work, then we don't do it. But uh, we might try different routes to do this and see how it goes. So we started out by getting them in this three-quarter acre handling area. All right, This is too big of a pen. But we fed them the cubes, they're all here. We, we fed them cubes really because we wanted to get them in here, but two, they know we have them. And if we start trying to do some fencing or other things and working them in here, um, they're just gonna be on us like flies on poo, man. And so we're just gonna give them their cubes, they'll calm down, and then we'll start building or rearranging as we need to try and see if we can sort them. <clears throat> Not sure if it's gonna work, but this is how much cubes left, so we're gonna have some time to strategize and also see kind of what in the world we're gonna to do to do this. So, I don't know, keep with us, we'll figure this out, hopefully. So if there's any females that want to go get, or even the boys that want to go get a drink, um, I know it's closed right now, but we're gonna let them out and try and let them go. If there's anybody that has a baby with them, we're not gonna let them out. So we're gonna try and naturally let them sort themselves if possible. So Chica's just gotta man the gate. You can move down the fence a little bit. So the gate, oh, you just... Maybe come and not... Sandra, I just mean by the gate to closer to the hinge. Stay right there or whatever. All right, Whoa, all right, shut, all right. It. Shut, shut it! Shut it! Shut it! Now! Yep, there we go. Crap. Yep. Yeah, so we need all the babies. So that was obviously less effective and didn't work. So once the first one started getting that kind of reared, the two bowls, anyway, that reared kind of anticipatory movement and uh, Bartok took off, everybody else thought, oh crap, we gotta leave too. So they all started that flight response and just bolted and anyway, we're gonna see how well they come back. But uh, if we can't get them back here, then there's no point doing anything else, so. Like I said, this might be totally moo. <laughs> a moo point? A moo point, if any of you guys watch Friends. Anyway, Joey. But this 
might be a moo point <clears throat> and uh they they took off <laughs> um yeah so anyway I'm we'll see how many are coming back yeah not as fast but they know there's cubes here yes they do but I don't think the boys for sure are coming back and there's you can see them way out there <laughs> they didn't stop just outside the gate they they took off so yeah I mean what we are going to construct isn't exactly super stable and amazing so I mean really we're going to come down to if we can get him back here and kind of sort some of these guys and kind of see that's great but otherwise we just may have to suck it up and say look we can't do it till we get the handling facility done to some degree and see what happens and maybe I don't sell them to him maybe I have to sell them to somebody else I don't know but uh, the objective is to make sure that we don't hurt the buffalo and we don't kill ourselves I only got six kids I could produce more if she'd just join along with me but at least I like to think so we're gonna see how this works maybe not today I don't know it's really amazing when you look at this there are a few that came back um, even some with calves but everybody else is so standoffish they are not coming close and this is all predicated on them having to be able to or be able to come back in we've already used our bait so there's really nothing else we can do to entice them back in they may be standoffish for a while but uh, they went far man they went far so I don't know man what else would you say about that like you can domesticate cows you can do that kind of stuff and when there's not the cubes and so forth I'll walk in and amongst them but these guys are not cattle they have a stinking flight response like crazy and uh, they want nothing to do with this area right now while we're here okay so if you were wondering there's actually three females that didn't bother leaving they were like screw that man I'm gonna stay and keep eating one of which was Rose number 26 the other was Erin she's looking off to our left here licking yep she was like screw you guys I'm staying and then the other one was so far unnumbered it was 138 so what's her name pumpkin Bernadine Bernadine 138 she decided to stay as well did not care I think she even had a baby and she didn't care so anyway, she decided to stay. So those were the three ladies that even though we had a mass exodus, decided, eh, who cares? I want to eat some cubes. Other ladies are coming and making their way back, but the two boys way out yonder where matter is unorganized are not moving. Which is fine with me. I don't need them. I need the babies. So the concern I have with all this even working, guys, is the fact that it felt like the two boys when there was just any ounce of like potential being closed in or locked down they bolted and Bartok took off and once one or two of them took off the whole swarm just started going any of the fencing that we've got right now with this barbed wire isn't going to be sufficient to hold them okay the trick to this is going to be to have to keep them calm and not wanting to leave and not feeling like they're threatened and that's probably the impossible part I don't know that we can do that <clears throat> so anyway if you can keep your buffalo calm sorting is a lot easier you don't need to be sitting there running around hooting and hollering um, especially in close quarters so I think what we might do is is do some other things right now <laughs> otherwise a lot of ladies are getting back here they're coming and making their way we're gonna give them a little bit of time see how many come back we're actually gonna leave let them be for a second and see if they stay and then uh, check on them again mm -hmm. still running those two boys man oh, they're like forget you those two boys want nothing to do with us right now all right so this has been a couple hours and uh, the cubes is really the only lure we had. That three quarter acres is empty. And everybody is just taunting us and chilling out here. And of course we failed. And um, so this is kind of my thoughts, guys. We could spend this time building up this fence. We could do all sorts of stuff to try and 
make this jimmy rigged little contraption to try and do this but we honestly put zero pressure on these animals and sitting in there when that gate was closed the bulls knew it somehow but just the mere act of opening that gate the two bulls they didn't care cubes okay these animals are smart they're not stupid and uh, they didn't care if there was cubes left those Aukman and Bartok were right there, okay? And guess where they're sitting now? When they bolted, they have not moved for hours, okay? They're smart, they knew something was different, and uh, you know, when the two herd bulls take off, everybody else followed. And so, you know, I was sitting there screaming at Chica, shut the gate, shut the gate, but you know, honestly, it takes some balls to sit there and throw a gate, or run it in, which I didn't want her to do. I mean, the only thing that was going to happen is the, the the bison either ram the gate, break the gate, they take her with it, or it happened to work potentially, maybe, and it just wasn't worth it. So um, it's going to be a little while to get their trust factor back to put it in there, and I don't have the facilities I want, um, so I'm not doing it. Okay, it's not worth the effort. It's not worth stressing out the buffalo and potentially injuring somebody. So, but just know, okay. This just exhibits the difficulty with buffalo. When they're here, I would have no problem walking right through the middle of the herd to go do stuff. They're chill. But one time, when they start sensing something's different, <laughs> they want nothing to do with you and they will find a way out, okay? So that's where the buffalo get dangerous. That's where they get frustrating. Um, and that's why we just need to build this handling facility. Get good facilities and you'll be able to deal with them. Otherwise they're peaceful and they taunt us and the bulls are pissed and they're just gonna pout and they haven't moved. I mean, obviously it was an utter failure, but we learned and we showed you kind of why it's hard to deal with buffalo in confined spaces. It just blows me away that we weren't even pressuring them and uh, they knew something was wrong. But So we're gonna reserve all of that until we get the handling facility built, which is hopefully next month, uh, February. Um, we'll see my orders being done and uh, we'll do this right the next time I'm not gonna stress it we're not gonna worry about the buffalo so keep with us we're building a new feed spot for all this stuff we're gonna be transferring that over you'll see that next episode um, but otherwise that was a short-lived moment and we realized how dumb we were so we'll catch you next time at Black Acre Ranch bye oh.